Hi, we're in one of my bathrooms. I'm actually gonna be dyeing my hair today. I was kindly gifted this box box. I got my box box for Clairol Professional. It's the true color. So I'm gonna be dyeing my hair. Thankfully, this came out like the perfect time because my roots were growing out. I know you don't see any here, but I have grays in between here and it drives me crazy because I can see them, not because anyone else can. But here's the little package. It comes with all of this. I'm so happy that it's not a box hair dye because I've heard plenty of times that they're not the best for your hair. So this is actually professional, like it says here. And it has this little card that shows you all the steps. And it provides the little bowl so you can put your permanent cream color and the developer, which you're gonna mix together. Some gloves and a little brush right here. And here they have two, I guess they didn't know. For people who have long or short hair, just in case they provided two developers in 20 and two boxes of the hair color. This is 3NN, dark hickory. I told them that I had black hair when I was doing the I guess it's like a little quiz to figure out if you're a right match for them. And it says it primes, colors, and seals all in one, 100% intense gray coverage, which I'm really excited about. It's a one-to-one -one mixing ratio. So this is a two ounce box. So you're gonna mix the two ounces with the two ounces developer. So it's perfectly measured out already. So I'm gonna set this up, cover my sink area with a towel just in case any flying dye goes anywhere, which I always manage <laughs> to do. And we're gonna begin. So like this video and remember to subscribe. And yeah, like I said, let's begin. I have my hair parted into fours, so the backs are picked up with a clip and I have the two front halves down and I always part it in the middle it's just something I always do and so it says to apply coconut oil or cream so I'm just gonna apply some shampoo because I don't want to go get my coconut oil and that is just to help prevent any hair dye getting there and staining your forehead. That has happened to me before. It's not fun and with dark hair dye it's even worse. So got the gloves on. We're going to I'm gonna start with just mixing one because my hair is pretty short. Okay, so now we've mixed the developer and the dye. And the smell is kind of strong, not too bad. Compared to the box dyes that you get at the grocery store, this is a lot lighter in smell. So now that we've got this covered for any marks, we have our hair clipped back and this is mixed and we're gonna begin. I like to start putting with my roots first. I know a lot of people like to do the roots around the whole head and then at the end go into the ends. 
since my hair is dark everywhere, I just start at the roots and then put it on the rest of the hair as I go. Okay, so I'm done. I scrubbed off some dye that I like swiped my glove on my face. And I had some dye here. And scrubbed off whatever dye I had here. I'm not too concerned because whenever I wash out my hair in the shower, I just scrub, I take like a piece of my hair and just scrub it in and it always seems to take out the hair dye. So while this sits, um, it says to wait 20 minutes, no, 30 minutes, and then shampoo and condition. And that's about it, so I guess I'll see you in a few. Don't do what I'm doing right now and touching your hair that has dye with your own finger. Um, so yeah, see you in 30 minutes. And here we have it, the final results. I just blow dried it. And so I'm trying to look at my little screen there. Um, yeah, it's really shiny. It doesn't have that strong scent of hair dye after you wash and blow dry it. I'm sorry, my dog just like walked into the tub. Um, it's really nice. And as you saw, it was extremely easy to put together. And yeah, this is the dye if you're interested in this color. It's really my natural hair color this shade so I'm really happy with that so once it grows out I won't be able to notice the difference only when I see some gray hairs but like I said this was 3 and N dark hickory and so
such a pretty color. I hope you enjoyed that video and you'll actually try to dye your own hair at home. It's a lot easier than you would think and great for being stuck in quarantine. So yeah, I hope you liked and remember to hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!